Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the Kaggle notebooks. So in this video, we'll talk in details about how we can access a Kaggle notebooks, how we can copy the somebody other's Kaggle notebook and start working on that, or how we can create our own notebook on the Kaggle platform. Okay, so we'll talk in detail everything about the Kaggle notebook. But before that, if you are new on this channel, then please subscribe to the channel, hit on the bell icon. So you will get the notification whenever I create a new and interesting video on machine learning. Now let's talk about the Kaggle notebook. So once you log in on the Kaggle, you can find on the left hand side there is a notebook option and if you just click on that you will be get redirected to the notebooks. Okay. So here you can see the different list of the notebooks which are published by the different user on the Kaggle platform and here on your work you can find the all notebooks on which you are currently working on and this is the shared with you here you can find the notebooks which you are working with the team or somebody else is shared the, his notebook with you then you can find over here okay. and here you'll find your favorite notebooks on which you are working on okay so let's come back to this public tab okay so and here you can see on the right top corner there is a new notebook button so if you want to create your own new notebook, then you can just click on this and you'll be redirected to the page where you can create your own notebook. So here you can see select your language. So you get the two options. You, you can select your language as a Python or R. So I just want to write a code in a Python so I can select a Python. And after that, I can check here notebook or script option and then I can create the notebook. If you want to go on the advanced settings, then just you can click on this down arrow button and you can find here some other advanced options here you can select the GPU or TPU for your particular notebook and even if you want to enable the Google Cloud service then you can enable it from here okay so I'm just keeping everything as simple so I'm not selecting anything on the advanced settings so let me just collapse it and let me just create this notebook once I created this notebook you can see here that this is the, my new notebook my notebook name is something notebook 97 something so let me just rename it like a first notebook okay so now here you can see that this is the some sample code which is provided by the Kaggle just for our reference so here you can see the new cell here you can type your Python code and you can run it so simply let me just type it like a print hello Python and let me just try to print it and let me just press shift enter okay so here you can see that hello Python is printed and same way you can keep writing your code and run with the shortcut key shift enter or you can just go over here and you can just run current cell okay if you want to share your notebook with somebody else then you can just click on the share keep it as a private and you can search for the name with whom you want to share this notebook or if you want to share this notebook with the everyone on this Kaggle platform then you can just click on on the public and you can just save it okay so I'm not going to share with everyone as it is an empty notebook so let me just cancel it and here you can find the version of your notebook okay so this is a just a first version so let me just save it and let me just name it as a version 1 and let me just save it okay so this way you can create a new notebook and start working on it okay so now let me just go back so let me just click over here and let me just click on the leave editor and it will be redirect back me to the notebook section of the Kaggle platform okay so here you can see now if I go into the your work you will find here this is the my first notebook which just I have created if I want to access it again I can just click on it and I can access it okay so now let's talk about how you can use somebody others notebook okay so you can see that these are all different notebooks which are made public by the Kaggle users so you can access any of this notebook and you can start editing the code okay so if I want to access this YOLO v5 car object detection so just I can click on this notebook and here you can see option copy and edit if I just click on this copy and edit it will create a one separate copy for me and in that copy I can start editing this code okay okay so now here you can see I have copied this yellow wi-fi car object detection notebook and now I can edit this notebook and write my own code or if I want to make an improvement in this code then I can do it over here and I can just save it okay so this way you can create a notebook by copying somebody others notebook and you can start working on that so let me again go back to our notebook so let me just leave this notebook and, and let me go back on the Kaggle notebooks and so now here is one more thing to notice that just I have worked on these two notebooks and 
on this both notebooks my current session is active okay so you can see here that this first notebook is running from for five minutes and if I want to stop my session then I can just click on this stop interactive session so I can just stop the session with this notebook and if I also want to stop the session with this YOLO V5 car object detection and I can just stop from here so stop interactive session okay so just now I have closed my active session with these two notebooks okay so one more thing to notice that here you can see that we are getting some free GPU hours okay so whenever you create a notebook inside of the advanced options you can saw that there you can create a notebooks with a GPU or TPU okay so this is the GPU option and the TPU option so Kaggle provides us some free hours for the GPU usage okay so here you can see that from my GPU quota there are 43 hours remaining so I can run my notebook with the help of a GPU for 43 hours okay so you can create any new notebook with a GPU processor and you can run it on the Kaggle for a free for the provided GPU quota hours okay so this is all about the Kaggle notebooks okay so hope you like this video if yes then please hit on the like button subscribe to this channel to learn more about machine learning if you want to know anything more about the Kaggle then let me just know into the comment box I'll try to create a video on that stay safe stay happy see you in the next video